Sennheiser Momentum 3 and PXE 552s. Two headphones so different that they might as well be made by two different companies. Today, we have some special guests to take you through this comparison. Momentum Man. PXE Person. The Momentum are for those who are conscious of their style. They come in two beautiful colors, black and sandy white. So the PXE come in just one color, black. And while they're not light in color, they are so light in their build. But are they comfortable? Just feel them. Look how light yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, I believe you, but are they comfortable? Because what is comfort, really? Yeah? I mean, comfort is a matter of perspective. Yes, so in your perspective, are they comfortable? They kind of clamp down on my ear. Aha! Well, the momentums are made exquisitely with their sheepskin, leather ear pads, making them feel like plush cushions on your ears. Just a joy to wear for long periods of time. Well, don't get carried away with those cushions and fall asleep because you'll run out of your 17 hours of puny battery life by the time you wake up. The PXE can run circles around your momentum with just 30 hours. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Hours. Well, Almost you'll, twice. Yeah, well, you'll need all those extra hours just to try to figure out how to operate those headphones. How do you change noise cancelling again? Well, there's a slider and for what, it. And what about Bluetooth pairing? Just press the button and then... And music controls? You use the touchpad. I mean, yeah. Yeah, the Momentums just come with good old reliable buttons and a slider. But I'm impressed, Ron. Did you go to Sennheiser School to learn to operate those PXEs? Anyway, the Momentums have an inbuilt tracking feature in collaboration with Tile. You can track where your headphones are using just your phone. So you get peace of mind for free with these headphones. <laughs> That's the only thing you'll get for free because these headphones are expensive. For the latest prices, check out the links in the description. But you know what? I'm willing to bet that the PXC are much cheaper than the Momentum 3s right now. Sure, you can be cheap or you can be hip. Just look at these headphones. A high quality build, beautiful leather and metal. Ah. Yeah, that metal isn't for me. It's got sharp edges and lots of room to pinch your fingers and other appendages in its general vicinity. Um, this PXE person is proud of his plasticity and the other P, portability. I mean, what kind of case is this? Huh? What do you mean? It's, Tell me. What do you mean it's do round? Do you want me to it's... drop you off to school with your lunchbox, little boy? Huh? What? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, while I go to my real professional what, job. What kind of job? Yeah, on a plane. What? All right, you go to your boring job and weird life on a plane and I'll just use my headphones for their real purpose, listening to music. The Momentum 3s have this beautiful, full, rich, warm sound that makes them really immersive. And they can be much louder than the PXE 552s, am I right? Yeah. Exactly. These, are... these have punchy bass, great mids. Oh, you're not gonna tell me that they sound good. The Sennheiser PXE 552s have the flattest frequency response, making them stand out from the rest of the consumer-oriented wireless headphones, including the Momentum 3s. No unnatural bass boost, clearer mids and highs, Great for people who are more critical and it's less forgiving of poor recordings. I listen to Blackstride Blues, it's a great Indian band by the way, check them out. Everything was clear, imaging was good, the guitar solo soared above the rest of the band, the tight snare sound and controlled bass were so enjoyable to hear. Yeah, but these are great for EDM and I achieved almost the same sound on the Momentum 3s using the EQ that I can adjust in the app while you only have... Acoustical settings. Yeah, which is just a fancy way of saying presets. After tuning the EQ to my liking, which is to say dropping the bass and boosting the treble, the Momentum 3s sound just as good, and arguably even better. Okay, I'll accept that. The PXE does not have that customization. But what it does have over many other headphones on the market is an analog headphone jack, and it can play audio over USB. Yeah, I can do those things as well, and I also have APTX, APTX Low Latency, and AAC. And you know what I also have? What? USB Type-C, because... It ain't 2015. Micro USB is fine. Who doesn't have a micro USB cable lying around? Don't sweat the little details, bro. You know what they say. It's not your micro size that matters, but your mega noise cancelling. They don't say that. Sorry, can't hear you. Your voice is drowned out perfectly by these headphones. But can you, and this is really funny, turn on ambient mode and listen to music at the same time? No, I choose focus. So no, no, I can't do those two things together. No. But this has by far the best noise cancelling amongst the two, which is why I can be a professional. That's why I wear this tie, you know. It drowns out all frequencies better than the Momentum 3s, you know, when I'm on that plane. Yeah, but... Sorry, I can't hear you. The PXE person is a professional, a fuckman, and there's no way I would ever use those headphones for phone calls. 
The what? mics suck. What do you mean? It's not like we're all working from home in the middle of a pen. <laughs> oh. But uh, boy, am I glad that I can switch between my paired devices in the app then. How about you? Oh, sorry. I'll wait while you figure out what phone one and phone two is. Phone two is my laptop. You've been deciding if you're man or person. And we've been DHRME. Namaste. <laughs> Do 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 do